In this video we're going to create a ground for our character to jump on. So in order to get started we need to make a brick PNG file, graphics file. So hit the Windows key in Windows 8, type in paint, hit enter. That'll bring up the Windows paint program. And if you don't ha see this toolbar, there's a little arrow up here at the upper right hand corner. Press that and it'll show the tools. So um, right now your, your uh, image might be a little bigger. Let me make this bigger. What we want to do is fill this with, this will be our brick, so we'll fill it with whatever color we want. So click Tools, click the Paint bucket, click on the color that you want your brick to be or your ground, and then click on the image. Okay, this image is a little too big for us. We want to have a 20 by 20 pixel brick. So go up to uh, File, Properties, and make the width and the height both 20. So 20 and 20. Click OK. So then go up to File, Save As, PNG Picture. Pick a place to put this. I'm going to put it in Desktop. Um, let me see. My Video Game Tutorials. And what you want to do is name this brick.png. Don't forget the PNG suffix because we want to make sure that it's a PNG file so we can load it into our Visual Studio program. So click on Save. Okay, now you can close down the Paint program. Now we want to open up Visual Studio. So press the Windows key, type in Visual Studio, and hit Enter. That'll load Visual Studio. Now we want to create a new model game project. So go to File, New, Project. Click in the upper right hand corner, you'll see a search box. Type in mono game. And over on the left hand corner, click on C sharp. Oops, click on C sharp and then type in mono game. We want to pick the mono game Windows project down right here. Just name it game, name it project ground. And hit OK. So right now on the left hand pane, what we need to do is import that PNG file into our content directory so our program knows it exists. So right click on the content project pro pro folder, click add existing item, go to your where you wherever you stored the brick PNG file, whatever directory. Let's see. Right here. Go down to the lower right hand corner and click on that drop down box and go down to image files. Click on that and you should see your brick PNG. Click on the brick PNG and then click on add. So right now what we need to do is make sure the brick PNG file is copied into our executable directory when the when the program is compiled into an executable. So right click on brick.png, click properties, Go over here to where it says copy to output directory. Click on do not copy. Click on the drop down box and then co click copy if newer. Okay. So now that we have our brick PNG being copied into the executable directory, open up our game1.cs where our game code is. What we need to do is create an array to hold all the pictures. So go, go right below this sprite batch object, type in texture. 2D, we want to make a array variable, type in ground textures equals new, we're creating new space in memory for the texture 2D objects, texture 2D, and then we'll make 10 of them. There'll be 10 bricks in our, uh, in our program. Okay, now that we have that created, go down to load content. And right down below the to do, type in 4, int i becomes 0, i less than 10, i becomes i plus 1. So this is going to loop 10 times with i ranging between 0 and 9. Okay, now we want to type in uh, ground textures. We want to get the current ground texture and we want to uh, set it equal to the content dot load and we want to load in a texture 2d object a picture 
And then we want to give it the name brick because that's what we named it in our content folder. Okay, so now now our bricks are all loaded in. Ten of the ten bricks are loaded in. Now we want to go down to uh, draw. So the first thing we need to do is call sprite batch dot begin and then sprite batch end. This is in between these two calls we're gonna have our drawing code for our ground. So we want to do another for loop, the same for loop we did up up at the top. Int i becomes zero, i less than ten, i becomes i plus one. So this will loop from 0 to 9, and it will do this loop 10 times. Now what we want to do is sprite batch dot draw ground texture sub i. We're getting the current ground texture. Then we want to have a uh, vector. So we're going to say, uh, we're going to just call it uh, position for right now. And then we want to have the transparent color white. So you'll notice it's it's highlighted in red. We didn't create this yet, so we're going to go up to, up at the top here, at the top of the loop, and create a vector to object and call it position. So we're going to say new vector to. We want to give it the x and y coordinates. I'm going to give it the x coordinate of 100 plus i times 20. So it's going to start the first time through the loop. It's going to go to 100 plus i zero, so 100 plus zero. Next time it's going to go. It's going to go 20, 20 pixels to the right each time through the loop. Then we want to give it the y coordinate. I'm going to say 200. And now we can run our program and make sure everything compiles correctly. Shift that over. Save. So we click the start, and there's our ground.